Then we have a visual query editor. Um, so these queries you have to write by hand. And of course, it's kind of hard to know what the predicates are and how to fit everything together. So we have another query view. Let me first create, get my healthcare demo back. So healthcare. So I have my new database back. Um, and we have one screen. So let me put this guy here. Um, let's see if I have anything here. So we have one screen when I can build query especially no code. Almost everything on the screen works like the normal graphical view. And here's the important things to remember. To right-click on the screen to create new variables and to right-click on variables to create new predicates with drag and drop. So let me just give you a quick demo of that. Okay, let me go back to the healthcare database and get a layout on the screen. So I'll go to the Dropbox, go to um, so the healthcare demo, and I want to get the layout on the screen. So I'm going to uh, the Dropbox, and I'm going to the Smart Logic demo. My demo here. And I get something on the screen. Uh, yeah, so here, <clears throat> what I do is I have <clears throat> saved in the healthcare demo a pattern that um, I found at some point on the screen. Okay? So I see uh, that Brady Tatum is actually is a patient note was taking a particular medication which is a drug-inducing drug, drug uh, which is a subclass of, of this particular thing, all the way down to hormones. Yeah. So I have various of these layouts. I have, I think, this one here, a much bigger one. Um, and I see interesting patterns here. So let me just take, say, this clinical trial here that I have and this one here, and just get those on the screen. Yeah, so I have these guys here. And I select, because you now all know how to do this, I select some predicates. And I say drug side effects and targets. And let's take some mesh variables. And a subclass of. And so one of the things I could try to do is to see if I can find a link from one place to the other. Yeah, so I let the database find a link all the way from Brady Tatum to hypnotics and, and sedatives to say something like propofol, the thing that Michael Jackson died of, and then finally the clinical trial. So I find this an interesting pattern. So I can do this, and I check this. And some things like this have certain side effects like here. So what I saw is a pattern where I have a patient note where someone took hypnotic, which is in this case was um, propofol, which was discussed in a particular clinical trial uh, that discussed a particular side effect. So I can take this and I take this query and I take it here. And so now I have a query, except the query is kind of only has constants, so it's not very interesting. So I can say, let's take propofol and turn that into a, um, a variable node so that it will be a drug. And there's a clinical trial. And let's turn it also into a variable node. Clinical trial. And then there is a, um, this is a hard to see side effect, but let's turn it also in a, in, a, in a variable node. So any kind of side effect. Side effect. Yeah, so now I have a query that says, OK, give me anything with a patient node that, where the patient takes medication. It's a subclass of something that is ultimately related to a clinical trial that discusses certain side effects. So I can I created this particular query in the query editor. It gave me the error a few seconds ago. And I can do the query. And here I have the results of this particular query. So the system wrote the own query. Yeah? So I went all the way from the, uh, the graph view, yeah? seeing an interesting pattern, turning that into a um, into a query where I took certain elements and turned it into variables, then turn that into a query where you see the results here, where then if I look at the official graph, 
look at this results. And then you, again, you see here we have Grady Tatum took, well, this patient note, um, described a certain hypnotic with, with this drug here, with, where there's a clinical trial that then talks about mental impairments, for example, or other things that might make people, well, for example, uh, trip or fall or slip or whatever. Yeah, so here's a way to find automatic, so start with the graph, turn it into a query, and then ultimately do the query and find the same pattern again. And then I could go back and thing here, I could say, well, I actually would like to see a hundred results. Do the query again, great visual graph, then I would see a much bigger one. Um, but again, um, finding, so you, you create the data on your screen, you find interesting patterns, then you ask the machine to continue and to find more of those patterns on the, on the, in the database. So a very powerful tool. 